this video tutorial I will explain how to call the store procedure using a simple JDBC call and how to explicitly declaring parameters. Here you can see the store procedure. Store procedure name is read underscore employee. Here I have defined input parameters and output parameters. What this store procedure will do is based on the input parameter employee ID it will get name, age and salary values from employee table and those value will be assigned to this output parameters. We will see how to create this store procedure and how to call this store procedure using a simple JDBC call. Here you can see employee table. It contains three records. This is the store procedure. I am going to execute this. Here you can see store procedure is created. We will see how to call this store procedure. Here you can see set data source method. Spring container creates a data source object and pass it to this method. That data source object will be set to symbol JDBC call object. Symbol JDBC call object is going to use read underscore employee store procedure and input parameter is IN underscore employee ID. Here using declare parameters method, I am declaring input parameters and the output parameters of the store procedure. Here you can see get employee method which accept employee ID. That employee ID value I am setting to the store procedure input parameter. And here I am calling execute method of symbol JDBC call object and passing the SQL parameter source object. This method execute the store procedure based on this input parameter value and returns the map and this map contains output parameters and the corresponding value and I am getting each output parameter value and setting to the employee object properties and finally returning the employee object. Here I have defined the class employee. It has four properties employee ID, name, age, and salary. Here I have defined the interface employee DAO. It has get employee method, which is abstract method, and it accepts employee ID and returns employee object. Here I have defined a class employee DAO impl which implements employee DAO interface and provide implementation of get employee method. This is a spring configuration XML. Spring container read this XML and it creates a data source object. To create data source object, spring container needs to know driver class name url of the database username and password of the database once a data source object is created it is injected to employee dao impl here i have defined a class app here i have created application context object by reading a spring configuration file using getbin method of application context object getting employee dao object from a spring container then I am calling get employee method of employee DAO object and passing employee ID as 1. This method returns employee object that I am printing here.
and we got the first record of the employee table. You can get uh, Java source code link for uh, each video in the description section of the video. Here you can see the description section. Click on uh, show more. And uh, here you can see the Java source code links. Click on uh, these links to get the Java source code. 